Today we're going to take a look at a really interesting website where you can create all kind of effects, which basically, you know, replicates all the effects in Photoshop, but here is like way more simple. So this website is the endlesstools.io. I'm going to leave a link in the description so you can check it out. All you need to do is just register here and then here we got the new project, click on it and you can select four things from here. We got the type tool, cover tool, object tool and shape tool. So basically the shape object and the type are like 3D where you basically import a shape and transform it into 3D and that's it. So instead of that, we're going to check out the cover tool, click on it. And now as you can see here, we got the image and then on the left side, we got all the effects. So how you can upload your image is you can click on here, upload media. And I'm going to select this model as a reference, click on open. So in this video, I'm going to highlight you some of the best effects we got here. So you won't waste your time. And of course, the first one is this, which basically is a refracted glass. And then here we got the options with the radius. You can increase or decrease it. So it's going to affect more or less the image. And then you also got the smooth. This is going to invert it also. So I'm going to go backwards and then intensity. I'm going to decrease that. So you got like less refraction and then segmentation. This is going to make it more rare or more dense. And of course, if you don't like the circle version, then you also got these lines or you can switch it up. You know, you get like these couple of displacement maps, but I would say that it's, you know, it's not enough. I mean, uh, in Photoshop, you can upload all kinds of displacement maps and customize them. But actually, this one looks pretty interesting. So this is like a grain effect. Let's go to the second one. This is like pixel stretching. If you press and hold the image, you can move around the pixel stretching. You can switch up the pixel stretch and you got a couple of options. This one's pretty nice too. I'm going to go back. Then you got the rotation and the size as well. Next effect is the distortion. You can see you can move around the distortion and then you get the radius. You can increase it or decrease it and just amplify the intensity. I'm going to go all the way down and then you also can switch up the effects to find the best you like. It's like a some sort of liquify. And then you also got this dithered effect. So basically this is the regular texture dither. I'm going to increase it all the way so you, so you can see it. Then you got the radius. So you get a couple of options, which is great smoothness. Take a look at that. And then you also can change up the texture. But let's check out what else do we have. I mean, it's not that bad. We also got this really cool half tone. I think this is really unique. You can't really do this in Photoshop, actually. So actually with the intensity, you can increase or decrease the dots, which is, you know, very important. You can also increase or decrease the size and, you know, just test these out, see which half tones are the best. You also got some focus effect here, which is basically blurriness. You can move around the blurriness. You can put the model in focus or not. So basically this is multiplying the image and it's creating this fog, this blurry effect. Here we got a lot more. This one is also really interesting. This is the surface. Let me try to customize it because I don't know, it's a little bit more complicated to work with this. I'm going to decrease the vertical a little bit. Horizontal is great on, on middle. To be honest, I don't like the distortions, but I do like the chromatic aberration here, which is available. So you can move around this chromatic aberration or this specific effect. You can play around with it. Let me adjust it a little bit better and make it a little softer. So this is great. This is a really cool effect. All right, so let's search for something else. And we also got this effect here. And then this is aberration versus power. Look at this. I'm also going to try to decrease the power. And this is going to go back to normal. Then you get the chromatic aberration. You can increase or decrease. I can increase it and increase the power. And you get this blurry effect. Let's scroll down. I also think I'm going to try it out these. Yeah, this is pretty interesting. Check this out. You can do this actually with some forms and shapes instead of, you know, importing a model. Look at that. Yes, yeah, so this would work really nice with a shape. So you can see these squares are wide and thick and then it gets narrow on this right side. All right, I'm going to try it out one more here. And I did actually try this effect on Photoshop. This is going to split the model in parts and then you can shift it. I think it's going to randomize it. So yeah, pretty much these are some of the best effects here. And if you want to export it, you can go here to export and it's easy as that.